Hey, Shalom, double honors the apostles of Great Millstone. Honestly, both of the people pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, um, and all praises unto Yah, Bashimi Ashai. So, um, today I'm going to go into this article here dealing with um, the shift uh, towards, uh, or rather, the shift away from the dollar. And the, today's big news is uh, this new uh, thing of the petrol you want that they're trying to introduce. So, I'll start with this article here. Uh, um, titled The Shift from the US uh, Dollar as the World Reserve Currency and it says it's underway. All right, so it says today more than 60% of all currency res uh, today more than 60% of all currency in the world is the US uh, dollar, right? So we go and do some history. Okay, and we go into this article here how the US dollar became the world re reserve currency. Okay, it says the birth of the US dollar is the Federal Reserve created the um Created by the um, Reserve Act 1913 is responsible for the unreal is is in response to the unreliability and instant instability of a currency system based on banknotes issued in uh, by individual banks um, because you would have had um at at at, um, at that time every bank had their own notes okay at that time I believe that's how the history is it says at that time the U.S. economy had overtaken Britain uh, Britain's economy as the world's largest economy because it also too if you go to the scriptures the scripture talks about how um america was birthed through britain and even them that uh, even the mother of america was gonna hate america okay so we're getting into that time now so you're seeing the shift towards the east ultimately that's gonna um uh, um result in a, uh, uh, an aggressive america aggressive united states an aggressive war and they're gonna go out you know to all out war to you know to be the dominant ones upon the face of the earth and it's all doing even the uh, even the even the ones that that was um uh, along with the agenda along with the so-called new order agenda or they're gonna come up against america at some point okay so it's, and that's 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 written about within the scriptures all right so it says also at that time most of the developed countries pegged uh their currencies uh to gold all right to create stability in um exchanges in currency exchanges so you would have had uh, what was known as gold back with um currencies however when the World War uh, broke out, World War One broke out in 1914. Many country, countries abandoned their gold standard to uh, uh, to be able to pay their military expenses with paper money, which devalued their currency. So, um, you know that thing where they say all oh, bankers' wars are bankers, uh, all wars are bankers' wars. Well, hey, that plays into that as well because shifting away from uh, um, shifting away from um, the gold back currencies that they would have had in uh, in in World War One, all right, and prior to that. All right, you would have had uh, stable economies. Okay, people would have been independent, but uh, shifting towards current season, basically fiscal, uh, what's known as um, uh, 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 fiat currencies, you would have had it to where people are more dependent on uh, uh, um, uh, somebody else to do, you know, to to do to, to run the numbers for them. Okay, people would have got into a, a hell of a lot of debt because well, it's backed by nothing, so you just borrow, borrow, borrow. You know, valued over time. Okay, so it says the dollars. Uh, ascendancy to the throne. Uh, uh, three years, uh, three years into the war, Britain, which were which had steadfastly held the gold standard to maintain its position as the world leading currency, found itself having to borrow money for the first time. So here we go. Just like I, I mentioned before, okay. It says the United States became the lender of of choice for many countries, and they were willing to to buy dollar dominated bonds. Okay, so you would buy uh, uh, these bonds and that. Um, which we would, you know, eventually, you know, pay off a certain amount of time. Okay, it says in 1919, Britain was the finally, finally forced to abandon the gold standard, which uh, decimated the bank accounts of international merchants who traded in pounds. By then, the dollar had replaced the pound as the world's uh, leading reserve. Okay, uh, and as it did in World War One, the United States entered World War Two well after fighting had started, and before it had, uh, bef uh, before it. it Entered the war, the United States served as allies, served as the allies, right main uh, proprietor of weapons supply and uh, and other goods, collected much of his payments in gold, and by the end of the World War, uh, the United States owned the vast majority of the world's gold. Okay, this uh, precluded a return to the gold standard by all all the uh, all the countries that had depleted their um, their uh, their gold reserves. In 1944, delegates from the uh, 44 Allied countries in Bretton Woods, New Hampshire, 
uh, to come with a new system to manage foreign exchange that will put that will not put any countries at a disadvantage. It was decided that the world reserve currency that world reserve currencies wouldn't be uh, wouldn't be linked to gold, but would be could be linked to the U.S. dollar, right? Which was uh, linked to gold. Okay, the arrangement which became uh, known as the Bretton Woods Agreement established the central banks uh, uh, would maintain fixed exchange rates between the, their currencies and the, and the dollar. Okay, so in order to, to pay for certain uh, world, you know, country to country uh, exchanges, this would now be done in, in, in dollars, okay, as opposed to gold. Okay, so instead, in, in turn, the United States would redeem US dollars for gold on demand. And, but then that all goes into the whole thing of uh, uh, no gold at Fort Knox, etc., etc., etc. I say it says countries had some uh, degree of uh, had some degree over the currencies in the situations where their currency uh, value became weak or too strong relative to the dollar. They could buy or sell their currencies to regulate the, their money supply. All right, and uh, you know I would really have to go into the uh, the e economics and maybe I'll do this video on, on its own uh, uh, going into these different things there because really it's you know I'm trying to go through it quickly. Uh, um, uh, uh, in, in order to do that. So we know after that, we know uh, uh, it transpired that, I think they might even mention it here. Okay, I'm just trying to read it real quick. Okay, so let's, let's go into this here. So it says, demands for treasury securities coupled with the de uh, deficit uh, spending needed to finance the Vietnam War and the great society domestic and the great so society domestic programs caused the United States to flood the market with paper money. With growing concerns about the stability of the dollar, the countries began to convert uh, uh, convert dollars reser uh, dollar reserves into gold. And if you go study the history of you know, the gold, because this is when you had uh, um, oh, gold backed dollars here, okay. But pretty much what you would what, what they what happened was they they was printing more than they had in terms of gold, and you know people people didn't like that. It says the demand for gold such as the uh, was such that President Nixon was forced to intervene and delink the dollar. From gold, which led to the floating exchange rates that exist today. Okay, this period of, of stag stagflating, high inflation and deflation, the U.S. dollar uh, remains the world reserve currency, based largely based on the size, the, the strength of the U.S. economy, and the dominance of the U.S. Um, financial markets. Now, what I really was hoping that it was going to go into is that it was going to go into the fact that you have now was now you have this dollar basically based on um based on oil pretty much because oil barrels for a period of time for a long period of time was um was priced in dollars and that gave um uh this global uh, uh, uh fiat currency this global world reserve currency a uh, stability okay but now you're seeing that stability being okay so let's go into this now it says china launches a uh china's a launch of petrol yuan in two months uh uh sounds death knell to dollar's dominance okay so now you have a, a new uh, a alternative means of um, of uh, purchasing oil, okay, um, and and like I just mentioned, this dollar that you have out here now is not is not is not based off of um it's not based off of gold anymore. It's based off of oil, and once you have that oil getting sold in other currencies, then well, that currency that being yuan is going to be the one of choice to other countries, but that dollar is going to lose its dominance within the market. It says one of the most uh, um one of the world's top energy importers, right? China is set to roll out a, a, a yuan-dominated oil contract as early as this year. Analysts call the plan, um, call the plan announced by Beijing in September a huge move against the dollar's uh, global dominance. The so-called petrol yuan is a wake-up call to, for investors who have uh, haven't paid attention to uh, China's plans, according to the head of um, uh, Kratiku Assets Management Asia, Adam. Levinson ha uh, uh, has uh, has quoted by uh, Bloomberg, okay. So um um petrodollar um uh, uh, petrodollar and looming as China and allies dump it in oil trading, okay. So like I you know like I've gone into these you know you pretty much get you should pretty much get the the just just off that. Um, let's uh, see if I can read this. It says according to Levinson, Chinese companies might grow into anchor investors. In Saudi Arabia's initial public offering of uh, national oil uh, giant Sa uh, Saudi uh, uh, Aramco, and um, it's, it's befitting because uh, not only uh, not too long ago you also had the thing of um, now uh, uh, um, 
uh, Saudi Arabia making deals with Russia. So you're seeing this whole shift towards um uh, uh, um towards towards you know uh, against the dollar and and towards the east. Okay, so pretty much hopefully that was of edification. Um, Lord's will, I'll come back with another one another time. They I'm gonna say all praises unto Yahweh Shemir. I'll shout the bottom to the apostles, the great millstone. All your brothers will be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.